welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I am dealing with allergies. <laughs> I swear this has been something I've been dealing with for the last couple of months. And it's been kind of crazy because I think I mentioned this the last time that you only recognize the value of something once it's gone and my skin has always been pretty easy i look relatively young i've never really had problem skin but over the last couple of months i've had eczema that has flared to the point of almost disfiguring me on a numerous occasions you'll see like i have hyperpigmentation all across my hairline here it started from one day where i wore a wig hyperpigmentation around my eyes now and I just get this reoccurring like patch of eczema here and here and of course on my eyelids I don't know if you can see that but the girl has learned to deal with it and there's so many things that trigger me I never know what it is exactly but I've learned now what to do when this happens to me and actually I think this is literally from the onset of my daughter's eczema that this happened to me never had it in like the first five years of my life and then my daughter dealt with it and then I dealt with it and my daughter's literally like got over her eczema everyone always asks me about like how did I clean her skin honestly I just started to leave it alone I stopped putting lots of stuff on it I stopped trying too hard and if she got an infection I would put like Fusidin on it which is an antibiotic cream but I never used any of the steroids and I just ignored not that I didn't ignore the doctors don't say I ignored the doctors but I was just like I'm gonna just wait this out and it's taken four years for her to basically have perfectly clear skin but for me it was worth it because I was really scared about the lifetime of what could happen to her and so I've also learned to be patient with myself knowing that stress knowing that maybe sometimes if I put the wrong product on my face, I have a feeling that there was perfume that leaked in my makeup bag and I feel like that went on my face. Or when I did my makeup, the makeup artist, maybe she used products that I'm allergic to. I don't know. There's a whole numerous number of reasons why my skin went chaotic. However, I know what to do. The Aveen Thermal Water Spray is the only I use on my face. I do not wash my face in the shower, I do not wash my face at home with any water out of the tap. It triggers me so badly. This is what I use to wash my face and Garnier. Like the micellar is all I use to cleanse my face and no pimples, no nothing. And when I don't have a flare, my skin is better than ever. But when I do, I just go back to simplifying it. And then I use the hyaluronic capsules from Elizabeth Arden because they work wonders and they really bring that hydration back to my skin. And if I find that it doesn't irritate me. So we do the same routine. It does burn though, my skin burns. Shout out to people who live with chronic pain because there is pain that you can't see. And my skin is so trivial, but when I tell you it burns, like it's like needles all across my face. Like it's like, ah, really hurts. Really, really hurts right now. <sighs> but we move, we move. How y'all doing? We have to be gentle with our skin, patient with ourselves, and give the body time to heal. It literally takes 28 days for your skin to heal. So I know that whatever was my initial trigger has gone, and now it's gonna take like two to three weeks to get back to its best place. And I love the squalene oil as well on top. This is how I need to oil up like a baby's bottom, and I have to literally do it five times a day, and sometimes I still spray the water on top just for that added hydration. Okay, anyway, I'm feeling good. I am off to Paris tomorrow. Something that you guys identify is normally I pick up the camera when I'm actually going away or doing something. My everyday is so boring. I'm not gonna lie. And I did read some of the comments the last time and I feel like you guys do notice that I travel a lot, but don't get it twisted, it's an illusion. I probably travel once every two months for a period of three to four days. So I go to Paris for one, two, two, two nights and I'm back home. And then I have another work booking in seven weeks from now. I'll probably pick up the camera and I'll travel away. And I love it. I love being a working mom. I love being able to be about my business, but also have that balance. My everyday is very dry. Can I tell you what I did today? Clean the house. I clean the house. I clean the playroom. I clean the fridge. I clean the bedrooms. I change the bed sheets. 
Like real life is very boring. And obviously you come here for the glamour, the drama, the fun. Not me cleaning out my fridge, okay? If you wanna see that, let me know. So yeah, I go to Paris. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack now and get ready. I was actually meant to go tonight, but I'm not going tonight because I had to sort my life out. I had to sort the home out. And a lot of people, I feel like I addressed this the last time, when people ask about how to manage it all. And I like to reiterate, there's no such thing as managing everything. Please note that social media is an illusion. We are here for your entertainment. I will entertain you. And I recognize part of what I do is literally just showing you experiences. So y'all are cleaning your house, like I'm cleaning out my house, but you don't wanna see that. You wanna see, you wanna see. Harry, you wanna see all that stuff. So that's what I'm gonna give you. Please let us escape for the next 45 minutes, okay? Mwah. No bars. <laughs> It's time for a little retail therapy. I have literally just got items in and I'm gonna do an unboxing because I literally feel like I haven't done one for such a long time. And there's a long story why. Firstly, let me show you this dress. Do we like this dress? I actually stole it from my sister. She has her deliveries sent here. And I was like, wow, this is a gorgeous little dress. I might add it to my collection. Let me know if you like it or not. But as you guys know, I used to be the girl who used to make purchases all the time. But I don't know if it's an age thing. I don't know if it's a lifestyle thing. I don't know if it's a cost of living crisis. But I definitely only get pleasure out of making purchases when they really feel right, right, right to me. And that means I prefer to purchase a few things more often that I really, really want in my collection. Spring is here and I have become a jewelry girl and I had to pick up some items from Pandora. I'm actually part of their collective. So I actually have access to a lot of the items and knowing, so spring is here and I'm now a jewelry girl and I had to get a ton of items from Pandora. And the thing I love about Pandora is that it's so buildable. And I think once you start, it's hard to stop. I even had to stop myself and only get a few key pieces. And now that I'm in spring, I know that I wanna be a silver girly right now. I'm officially about to be a silver girly. So I wanted to get some silver accessories. I'll show you what I've got. First thing first, this looks even more beautiful in person. This is so beautiful and so dainty. Just what I was looking for. I go through these phases of loving, you know, really chunky items or really tiny items or really delicate items. And I feel like that's my season right now. And the silver is really a big deal for me right now. And that's really what I wanted to pick up on silver accessories. But look how gorgeous this necklace is. It's literally what I wanted. Now that I've got more clavicle, I'm a clavicle girly, just dressing it, especially with something open like this, is so stunning. Look how gorgeous that is. Like it's there, but not there. And that's where I'm at when it comes to certain things that are style understated. Oh my God, it feels like Christmas. Doesn't it feel like Christmas? Do you know what? We don't need Christmas, we need springtime and we need a refresh. I got the earrings as well. The packaging is so gorgeous. These are the matching earring. I am not an earring girl on a day-to-day -day basis, but on a night out, I might wear a big hoop. However, I do love the idea of a gorgeous stud on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm gonna show you these on, you see? Oh my gosh, so elegant. And this is the kind of pair that I would just keep in all the time. I would never take out. Oh, gorgeous, so gorgeous. I actually got my second and third hole done only on one side because I wanted to let this side heal. I'm probably gonna get the other side done, but I also got these pearl drop earrings. I love a good pearl. I think pearls are amazing for spring. So in that second hole, we have to do one pearl drop earring. I don't know about you, but it does take a while for like my piercings to heal. But when they're healed, it's so nice to have fun with them. Hold on. No, tell me that doesn't look epic. <gasps> that is a stack. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe I might do the pearl drop just there. That is absolutely perfect and it's so comfortable. I can't wait to do this ear again and get it healed. Okay, that's like Christmas. I picked up a beautiful ring as well. I feel like they call this an infinity ring, but I love rings like this. And this can be added to my like silver hand. So this is a gorgeous piece just to add. It looks very glowed up, very elegant. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to put it on this hand, but I really wanted it on this hand, on this finger, because I wear rings across every single finger now. And I just love having a full hand, but she works right here as well, but this was meant to be my silver hand. But we're gonna work through it. This is meant to be my gold hand. It's fine, it's fine. And finally, I bought a little bangle as well. This is super understated, super elegant. You can also build this up with the different charms as well. And you know Pandora is known for the charms, but I don't want to put a charm on it though I did buy some and this is just nice to like spruce up my wrist so overall I've got that shine and that sparkle and I just love how it feels jewelry to be added to my spring collection is literally a must and I don't know if you've gone into Pandora and you've ended up picking up charms but I did the same thing so let me know where you guys think that I should put these on the necklace on the bangle but I really actually want to know how you guys like using the charms or where you put them or how you build out your stacks let me know in the comments but look at me I'm now talking with my hands I feel like I've got this added level of like pizzazz just because I've got my jewelry on I'm gonna be like doing this the whole time <laughs> it's gorgeous all right let me show you some of the other pieces that I'm gonna pack for Paris as well. I'll link everything in the description bar below if you wanna check out some of these pieces from Pandora. So I feel like my style has changed so much. I really want a more elegant style. So this feels like an old school horn unboxing and I'm absolutely here for it. My style has definitely changed. I'm leaning into like my older vibe. Oh, I don't actually know what I bought. It's from Bottega. You know what you forget when you do your online order? New glasses from Bottega. Oh my God, these are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Basically, I realized that I've lost all my favorite glasses. I think I left them in another country or they're in a jewelry bag or a glasses bag somewhere that I don't have anymore. So I'm rebuying glasses and it's so annoying. I rebought my old favorite Celine's but I actually think that this pair is better for like my jet black pair. And I lost the pair of off-white ones. So this is my replacement for my off-white glasses. These were 350 and I feel like they're so wearable and they suit my face. So some of the other glasses are like 600 quid. Like what? Like something so small and you lose them? No, the pain, the absolute pain. But these are gorgeous. These are my first ever Bottega glasses. Do we like them? Oh my God, I will link every Everything in the description bar below. I'll tell you something, I love Netta Porter Premier Delivery because know that I ordered this at 2 p.m. and I got it by 10 p.m. That eight hours. All right, so I picked up this from Off-White. I wanted to bring some more color into my collection. I know spring is a sprunging and I saw this bag, bright blue bag, and I was like, yes, I don't have anything bright blue in my collection. I don't have any off-white bags in my collection. I thought this beautiful cobalt blue would just be such an addition to my bag. And it's really different. And it's got the off-white on the back, super understated. But I really like what this looks like. This is just a gorgeous little shoulder bag to add to the collection. Oh, I love it. Remember, I used to do like unboxings that would take me like hours. Not anymore, darling, not anymore. In this season, we buy little quality once in a while. All right, darlings, but it does make me happy. Okay, things you need in your collection. This is a pinstripe shirt. This is from Off-White. Oh my God, I'm in love with this shirt, guys absolutely love I, and you know what's funny when you are more like clear about what you're buying you know it's gonna look good i saw this style with a skirt on top layered and boots and i was like yep yeah, yep yeah, this is for me absolutely in love with it absolutely in love with this oh what boots am i gonna wear this with black boots or whatever so it's like a shirt dress i will show you it on and this is coming to paris with me pinstripe suit so good this skirt so i saw this skirt layered with this with this shirt it looked kind of schoolgirl, and i loved it that's that and then i also saw this pleated mini skirt as well off-white the plan is to go to the off-white show guys so i wanted to buy a piece that I could wear to the off-white show oh my god the pleated mini skirt i died absolutely died wow tell me you bought the blazer girl tell me you bought the i didn't buy the i did buy the blazer thank god all right perfect so i've actually got the full-blown pinstripe suit situation from off-white and it looks like it's like a normal pinstripe but it's got these like details where it looks like the pinstripes have curved it's super super cool so this is actually the blazer and there is also the stunning trousers 
because I'm gonna try this on and work out if I'm going for the shirt and the skirt or the trousers and the shirt and the blazer. So I'll show you everything on. But that's all I've got guys, a classic unboxing. Let's do it. I'm in my pinstripe era. This shirt I know is an investment piece. I can just tell that really good quality. I'm in love. And this is the thing, when you get a good suit, you get a good suit. I cannot tell you how good this fits. The shape, everything. I feel like a absolute boss. Absolute boss. Let's get the bag. I'm sorry. This is why quality tailoring matters. This is why quality materials matter. Like this is so gorgeous. Oh my God, look at the fit of this suit. Wow, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in my boss era. I'm in my absolute boss era. I just wish I had cobalt blue shoes. That's what I don't have. But the suit itself, die. The suit itself, so good. So good, so good. Let's put it on with the glasses. So good. Ask me a question. Ask me how much. We're doing the deal. We're doing the deal. The deal's being done. Just look at the fit of this jacket. <gasps> oh, a million percent. Oh, a million percent. It's a keeper. This is it, darlings. When the taste levels go up, life changes. Because for me to wear this tomorrow, that's it. <laughs> Ask about it. Love it. The skirt. Honestly, it doesn't hit the same way as the trousers. So I am gonna say no to this the skirt, but I'm gonna try on the skirt with the shirt because that was another way I thought about having a look at this. So this is this. Is that your skirt's not short enough? That's what it needs to be, like a lot shorter. Let's see. I'm getting a train to Houston to get to Paris. Can we get a In the car, and the driver's playing, which had the coffee for us. Oh, uh, How the evening goes. Fashion, <laughs> fashion in the day, Shelly Poppy in the night. Here we <laughs> In Paris! Finally made it after the longest, it's not actually a long journey, I'm lying, it's two hours on the train. My schedule is not exactly how I thought it was going to be, but what's crazy to me is I'm officially the girl who goes walking, running, finds a gym on holiday. And I love that for me. I'm staying in a new hotel because my favourite hotel is fully booked, <laughs> fully booked. And it's literally crazy how much money they make for selling you a shoe box. This is my room. Now it's gorgeous and it's aesthetic, but it's literally so small. The bathroom, very cute, very aesthetic, gorgeous, but it's absolutely tiny. Why is it like this? However, I'm not gonna complain. I don't plan to spend a lot of time in the room. The Off-White show is today and I have a really, really amazing invitation to an event with LVMH. So that came through and the person who invited me is super senior. So I was like, 100% I will come down specifically for this event, which is actually giving, I believe it's the next designer award for the LVMH group. And so this is like a ceremony for them. So it's actually a really big deal. So I'm very excited, but I haven't had coffee and haven't had a walk so that's what I'm gonna go and do now because that is how I literally start my day and feel good every day listen move your body move your body I'm listening to my church sermon from my old church which I think I'm gonna start going back to just because I can't explain churches but like I went to like an old school Caribbean church yeah and there's just something about that energy that I miss like I love my current church it's amazing but like I feel like I'm in a season where I'm gonna need Jesus the Caribbean way with a little bit of fire and pepper on top this might go over some of your heads but I've been going to church for about 4,000 years and I've gone through my different seasons and my different phases and I'm in a phase where you know what we're going back to where it began where it began anyway time to walk get coffee and be a very French woman <laughs> So here is my outfit and I feel very overdressed and it's the jacket. The jacket makes everything feel overdressed but it's so warm, so co cosy and it's definitely giving mob wife aesthetic but do you know what? It's Paris, it's fashion week, 
and I was like, yeah, I'm going to wear this dress. It's the glasses. These are new from Bottega. Oh, you saw them in my haul. Absolutely fire on, okay? Fire on. The dress is an old dress that I absolutely love and wear all the time. And my gym body just comes through in this dress. And then my old Celine bag. I have no idea what the vibe is going to be. Like, no idea. So I'm going to just walk in like the Abuife. Abuife means king in my language. And my mum always used to say, king, Abuife when I walk into the building so I'm really going to be giving full on a buife energy we need to add this into you lot's lingo I'm going to teach you guys Ibo slowly by slowly but this is how an a buife walks into the building eh? show you gates eh? I wish I had headphones right now okay let's roll sorry this lift terrifying it's like a shoe box I feel like it's literally about to crumble under my feet but it's taken me from A to B hopefully I get out of it but it's like got a door in front of it as well. Very Parisian, it's giving Emily in Paris. That's what it feels like. <laughs> I feel so extra right now. But please, someone get me out of this lift. My wives, oh gosh. All right, let's roll. I haven't eaten, I don't, I keep not eating. I do this all the time, but it is what it is. We are vlogging on two cameras with an amazing time at the oven. Absolutely again. phenomenal. It's absolutely great. We saw each other, uh -huh. black ladies in black, uh -huh. giving what we needed to give, uh -huh. giving fashion. Well, we're gonna get food, we're probably gonna get some wine. Patricia wants to try one janky sushi place around the corner, and I don't care about seafood. You have to have seafood from a proper establishment because food poisoning is a real thing. Listen That's my TED talk. I eat on the corner, I oh, eat at the truck, I eat No, but we need like reliable food. Not every day, like, no, 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 no food. I would do KFC before I do that sushi. I love the KFC. I would do McDonald's, Boking. Those are reliable things. Okay, fine, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Not the glasses for them. But I'm not hungry. hungry, I feel like I can just do like a little, I just want to pick at something. Okay, we can get some picking. We're gonna find what we can find in Paris, but how amazing is outfit? This is my outfit, even though it's like not as slutty as it could be. Oh, I love it. It's just that it's, no, I we're know. going party. Patricia has made me extend, okay? And now I'm just leaving tomorrow morning. I was supposed to sleep tonight, but yeah. So the thing is, right, my <laughs> name is Good Vibes. I love a good party. I love this. So I love good fun. energy. No. Sometimes people think I'm not fun. And no, I'm not, honestly, I was like, no, I'm actually fun. fun. We always say hello to each other when we see each other. Of course. This is like, of course. A vibe. But I'm like, if we're outside, we have to Yeah, so and we are outside tonight. We're going, we're having fun. Don't wait up, guys, because it's going to be a late night. We'll catch you in the morning. Yes. Shout out to the girls' girls. We're the girls' girls. The girls are girling. <laughs> we're girling in Paris. That's what we do with. The way yeah, that camera looks absolutely gorgeous. Look everywhere. how good this camera is. It's gonna follow me everywhere. Oh my gosh. Go. And is the quality good? So and like the memory okay, card is babe. good. <gasps> yeah. Wow. And then you can move it. It's so smooth. It's so it's small. And it comes with a tripod. I just took it off. It's just there. But yeah, it's perfect. Get the creator. Bring it. I feel like I've been. I need shares in this company where I've been selling this. Um, Osmo. Thing. Yeah, it's the most amazing. Yeah, I'll pay her. Yes, please. this is great. This is fabulous. come last minute we're gonna fit me with my grill right before the event you know we are in a new location because tonight is the grill and i'm so excited i literally just got my first grill and it's so fun and it's award season so yeah i've got this really nice black dress on we're running a little late i've had my hair styled by the team at tresemme and it's absolutely flawless the middle part back down I tell you what happened, let's literally leave Paris to come here and I might be going back. We're working it out now. No matter what the others 
guys, life keep changes. I've been in Paris, came back to London for an event, going back to Paris for the day. I was just showing my mum my new style. And I know that people are either gonna love it or they're gonna hate it. But one thing I literally just said to my mum, a shout out to Mumsy in the building. Mumsy's in the building, is that, do you know what? Life is for living and it's about exploration, right? I'm having a whale of a time just switching it up. Some people get so mad when people change or grow or do something different or are not how they think you're meant to be. And life is not like that. Life is about evolution. Like my mom just looks at me and she's like, well, if you like it, she's like, you've left your tooth on this side. I'm like, mom, it's a grill. <laughs> it's a grill. But the one thing, like she just lets me do what I wanna do. Like explore yourself. There's no age limit on style, I'm gonna be near on 400 years old, but don't think I'm not gonna be fly when I'm 200, cause that's what I'm gonna do. I don't, I don't give a heck, there's no way how I have to be dictated to how I have to live my life. And I think social media makes you feel like you have to be a certain way. You have to remember that you're able to be a variety of things. Now I'm not gonna lie, that was all far too much. The, the, the faux fur jacket, the trousers, the, the grill, all together, I know it's a lot. But I was doing it for fun, all right? I'm not gonna be that dramatic. This is what I'm actually gonna wear. I'm actually all on time, going to the airport right now. The kids have had a beautiful morning. Come on, my mum, she's always there, just in the corner. Just, I feel like we should just zoom into her, just standing there, watching me. Like, this is my outfit, airport vibes. I have my grill in, which I absolutely love. Some people like it, some people hate it. And then Abby's here, my assistant's here making it happen. So you know what, it's fun. You can balance so much stuff if you want to. Anyway, to the airport we go. And yeah, I'm gonna keep grinning at you like, hey, hey. Good evening. We have landed in Paris. It's me and Yvonne, and we've gone to the fitting room. Our looks <laughs> are here. It's very different. Yes, it's like Tweed, yes, Tweed yes, D, yes, and look how beautiful yes, Yvonne looks. Yes. Oh my gosh, I feel like she's like elevating my style just by being next to her. Yes, like, yes, she, yes. She's making me wanna like, upgrade. Yeah, upgrade. upgrade and bring or go home. Experience and have a good mm -hmm. time. So we're literally Tweedle D and Tweedle Dum in our dresses tomorrow. But it's hers and hers, and we're giving. Fat. And tonight we have dinner. We are back in Paris and we're gonna meet Joy Jar now. Girls dinner only. Girls before only. we have a really nice maybe we'll go out. I don't know. But we're tomorrow, going out. okay we might go out. But <laughs> we're we're, I'm out. really excited for the show. It's gonna be a moment. Oh. The fact that we got dressed by the brand right. and the pieces and, oh. are so gorgeous. This is also a jacket from the brand. It's a latex Orange. and everything and silicone and it's just so much fun. And as I was saying to you guys earlier, like just feeling like you want to explore is such a good feeling. Like it's something that's really transformative. So we're doing that. Joy Ja is in the building. I know her camera's so amazing. Her gorgeous hair. We've got a little, um, what do we call these? A little shot, a little, little tequila. We got our wine. We're such elegant, lovely ladies. Victoria's got Victoria. Wow, Yvonne. Some people do call me Victoria. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. Why I just called you that. This gets the entire scenery. Yvonne is giving what she needs to give, showing off a little camera, and we're getting a tomahawk. It's such a good camera. <laughs> so we're here, I've had to take my hat off. But you guys saw me with my big old hat. But I don't want to distract people, so I'm like, I'm not gonna wear my hat. Shot of night. Why do we eat like this? Hey, we'll see. Oh, messy. <laughs> Little girls be eating. Hey, we'll see. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh. Wow. Beautiful. Special salt for the meat. Voila. Special salt. Voila. <laughs> Thank you, monsieur. And this is flour de sel. Ooh. It's like salt flour. Oui, oui. Understood. Et voici. Oh, merci. So we've just had the most amazing dinner. Like we ate so much. We ate like absolute beast. It's the best thing ever. Okay, cowboy boots. Cow cowboy boots. Cowboy boots. Cowboy with the car. Sleek my girl looks. Period. I got the fluffy hat and the cowboy boots and the grill, and she's giving me YSL, she's giving me Saint Laurent, she's giving me elegance. It's giving elegance. 
Pizza. And now we're going to a party. Mm -hmm. I've never been to this hotel. It's so nice. How did he? Yeah, who booked awesome. this? You just found it. Wow, I've never no, seen this hotel. Is. So we are ready for the show. Really excited. Our first show. We're dressed. We're kind of giving Tweedledee and Tweedledum, or like <laughs> hers and hers. It's kind of giving Matrix, and I just love it. I don't have nipple covers, but you know what? Women have nipples. I'm kind of giving Kim K in a way, and I couldn't work out if I wanted to wear glasses or not. But I think I'm gonna wear some. Glasses. I think it's got to be done. So we're in the car, ready to go. <laughs> we got kicked out of our first Airbnb. Oh. Found a hotel <laughs> to get dressed and ready in. We're not feeling our best, but we make it look cool. It's been chaotic. It's been a bit chaotic. Very chaotic. And this is what it's really like behind the scenes. Like we organised this in less than 24 hours. Yes. Like literally, it's insane. And one thing about fashion and all that stuff, it's really an investment. Like we spent money to like be in these environments mm -hmm. to experience the fashion to be dressed etc like that we didn't pay to attend we didn't pay no we didn't we did pay to attend. but to getting our flights else, hotels yeah. changing cars and like yes it looks glamorous from the outside but people did not see the fact that yeah it's very we were, chaotic we were naked in our towels with someone bashing on the door <laughs> telling us to leave my hair, wig was off my hair was like this <laughs> i was like poly anglaise <laughs> poly anglaise <laughs> <laughs> I was using Google Translator, begging then, the woman, she was just please like, no. <laughs> give me one hour. She was like, no. <laughs> She's like, get out in five minutes. Ah. So we were like, ba 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 ba, book a new hotel. <laughs> We like we have a show now. So yeah, all that glitter is, is not gold. But it's about seeing the environment and like enjoying a show, enjoying the experience. I still got my gorgeous Pandora pieces on, which have just been all I've worn the whole time. I didn't wear my grill and this would have been absolutely perfect for my grill. But I think it's good that you didn't because your last epic shot had it in. Okay, fine. You know? Yeah. Tell them what happened. Tell what you tell we, were them. we were fighting for our lives. 